Ah, Rieva. How about I show you some love? I've been waiting for this day. Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal. Like some shared fantasy. I wonder what kind of ideal Ryoma is picturing. He seems... Embarrassed. Hmm. Well, I guess that's a good start. I think. Hey. Shuichi, I've warned you before. Not to chase after me. Huh? Oh? Chase after you? Shuichi, my man, you're taking the initiative. What do you mean, chase you? Don't you get it? We're nothing more than a former tennis player and a manager now. We're just strangers. Manager? I must be someone that Ryoma knew when he was playing tennis. So Ryoma's fantasy... I was chasing after him. This is all part of his dream. I cannot ruin that for him. No, sorry! I threw away my past. We've got no reason to see each other. If you get it, then hurry and leave. Hey! Do I need a reason to see you? It's not like it's dangerous to see each other. I mean, unless we're talking about the Mafia, then... Uh, yeah. Well, probably not anymore. The Mafia I got tangled up with is long gone. Is The Mafia I got tangled up with is long gone. Oh! Well, actually... Is that a detail I missed? About the Mafia that he got... That he attacked? Or is this part of the dream? In this dream, the Mafia is gone and in real life, the Mafia still exists, even after he attacked them. I don't know. But I don't have a future anymore. He got nothing to gain being with me. Huh? I'm not only seeing you because I get something out of it, Ryoma. <laughs> <laughs> Managers should listen to their players, you know. I'm saying I don't want to see you. Don't follow me. It's irritating. How could he say that to me? Why is Yuruma being so stubborn? I'm supposed to be his ideal. Uh, perhaps he doesn't really want me to leave. Ryoma. At least tell me why you don't want to see me anymore. I deserve an answer. I'm not trying to make this hard, just... I won't believe it until I hear you say it. Um, what is it, Yoma? Jeez. Jeez. I tried to push you away and you just stick to me. What a weird guy. Well, he surely has learned some lessons from Kaito Momuta. I'm gonna talk about my selfish wishes now. You'll probably think I'm a pain. And then you'll stick around anyway. You're just that type of guy. Well, now is your last chance to walk away. You're just gonna regret listening. No. I wouldn't do that to you. Not after coming this far. So please, tell me. Then... In that case, I'm going to be honest. I'll be okay as long as you're alive. Huh? What? What do you mean? You're... You're... Someone who lives in the sun. A place that's beyond my reach now. Someone like you remembering me in the back of your mind. That's all I need. Come on, Ryoma. Don't bother with so me. So please, don't worry about me anymore. Go somewhere far away. And live happily. Uh, um... You telling me this makes me want to stay by your side even more. I knew it. I knew you'd say something like that. But all this makes it seem like I want you to chaf chase after me. Maybe deep inside you do want that. Or... Maybe? Sheesh. How pathetic. That's... But that's alright, Ryoma. Just be honest. And tell me what you want. 
On impulse, I took Ryoma's hand in mine. I felt that. If I didn't... I felt that if I didn't hold tight, he would run away from me. Ryoma! I don't know what will happen in the future, but I know I'm happy now. Yoma's hand gripped mine a little tighter. They were smaller than mine, and years of tennis had made them hard, but strong. I've still got a ways to go too. I ended up getting you involved with me. It's all right. I won't run away. Ryoma, please don't run away either. <laughs> I wouldn't do such a lame thing now. It might have been a long time coming, but I'm going to at least say it properly. Shuichi, things won't be like before, but will you help me again? Yeah, of course. If there's anything I can do, I'd be more than happy to. Is that so? Then, to make sure you don't regret your decision, I'll do whatever I can for you too. All right, I'm counting on that. I had done all I could. I held it in my hand, safe and warm. 